Good morning, guys. Welcome to today. I love how bright this barn is. Honestly, huh, feels good to be in the barn when it is bright and and light. I hate dark places. But anyway, that was random. Good morning. Welcome to today's video. Uh oh. Oh my God. What the heck, Sam? Why? Ah. Oh. What a. <sighs> Welcome to the flood of day by day. 2022. <laughs> wow, mini. Did you guys see? I knew. I should have known. Like, I should have known because the ponies were standing there just staring at me. Oh my gosh. Oh. Anyway, Sam left the water on. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hi, baby mini. Look. Look what your dad did. Oh, Gracie. First one to meet you at the door every day. Like, who knew that this was going to be it? She wasn't today because the ponies were here. So she couldn't be. But honestly, she always is the first one to come and say hi. You see how Gracie puts her head over her? Like, I'm the boss of her. What happened? And then you freaked out and scared Gracie? <laughs> oh my gosh, today is turning into a disaster. <laughs> this is so weird. So everything was going great until no, just... No, Mom, no, 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 oh no, don't go in the water. Don't go in the water, you're not coming in. She's standing on, uh, on the ledge. She's like, help, how do I get in water? Well, you know what? At least it's mild out, and we wanted to see if she likes water. She doesn't like us. Your dad is still feeding them way too much. So essentially, my brother called me this morning and said, like, hey, do you mind if I bring a couple of friends and stuff over? Because they have kids and they want to see the ponies. <laughs> so, you need to start wearing your boots down to the barn. Hurry up, because this is mini. Oh, she just... Hurry! Oh my gosh. Help me. Help me. Hurry up because now you're too late. <laughs> I can't walk through it. Alright, Sylvie, hurry. Oh, there's nothing to hold on to here. Hurry up. Wait, wait, wait. Ugh, I did it. Alright, stay there, little missy. Nope. My brother wants to come over. He's like, I'll come at noon. I'm like, yeah, sure, no problem. We come down at like 5 to noon, thinking like, it's not a big deal. I'll just do a little it's sweeping. It's 11.35. Oh, it's only 11.35. So we come down at the last minute, basically, and I look outside and it's raining. I'm like, how are these kids going to come and like play with the horses and, and do stuff with the horses? It's raining. It just started raining. I'm like, what the heck? So then, I'm like, it's okay. We have an arena like what difference does it make we have an arena everything will be fine i get here and the arena is flooded so yeah hmm. thanks sam but speaking of sam i want you guys to know i feel so lucky to have him he's so helpful and does so much for us like so much for us like and he takes pride in taking care of our horses he takes pride in making things better like dragging our arena and that makes me so happy like i'm super thankful for him so when i complain that he flooded the arena it's because it was not a good day. <laughs> Why couldn't you have flooded the arena yesterday? Ah. Anyway, it's not all the whole arena. Look for the bright side. We still have lots of arena to play in. And I'm gonna start setting out the hay that they can have each day. Like I used to do this whenever I was not the one to feed them. I would make piles on the ground every single day of how much hay the horses would get. <laughs> Some of you guys might remember that and then when the kids would come down, like say they would come down and feed at lunch. They'd just grab that pile and throw that hay. And I'm gonna have to do that for Sam because I was watching him in the video give hay. And I was thinking to myself like, what the heck man? That's way too much hay. And I don't care about like how much hay they get in terms of how much hay they get as long as they're staying warm. But I don't want them to be super chubby. Also, I put on my new breeches. 
because I really want to ride my horse today. I'm like, you know what? My birthday month is almost over. I want to wear my breeches in my birthday month and ride my horse, but not today. Well played, God. Well played, Mother Nature. Oh, Sam's home. So what'd you get? Watch Penny, because she doesn't like. Finally, you already seen all the free stuff. I got this metal post. Did we actually need any of these things? This is a really hard steal. Shovel. I got myself a hoe. We got myself a hoe. And uh, a couple of fans and uh, sho more shovels. And like more bo like box fans? No, ones that would, that would stand. Why do we need all that? I could always use fans. So, uh, did you know that you flooded the arena? No, oh, totally forgot about it. Did you guys notice that my new gloves are not in my caddy, they're in Sophie's caddy. I may have put them there, but interesting. But anyway, so today I'm gonna to get to use these for the very first time. So these are bigger than the other ones that I have. I actually like them because the, my one complaint about these gloves, you guys know how I love these grooming gloves, but my one complaint is that in the winter, my hands freeze in them because they're like mesh and they don't keep you warm. But this bigger size, I can wear my gloves underneath. Mm. So I love that. Cool. You found them? Yeah, did you, did you <laughs> put them in your caddy? Yes. I saw that and I just said to them, is it weird that they're in Sophie's caddy? Or do you think that it, oh, I put them there by mistake? Oh, well, so why did you put them there? Mm -hmm. Oh, you want to use them too? Well, if you want, we can take these into the other barn and use them there. I need something for those things. Especially oh. the palm, you that will get dirty. So do you want a pair for Christmas? Yes. You want, yes. For Christmas? You want, <laughs> green? You want green? And that's that. They don't have any more green. Okay, just on a side note, last night we were driving home from picking up Laura in the movie theater and stuff. And there again, two deer on the road and I didn't hit that one. Luckily, it was luckily it was pretty close, but two deer again on the road. I don't know what's going on. That's too many deer coincidences here. So also, my horse is covered in mud, and now that it rains, Penny. she I is going to be muddy. So all these people are coming to see our horses, and they're going to be like, let's take pictures with her, and then our, my horse is going to be a mud mess. <laughs> Today it's falling apart, Penny. Oh, Look then, at all that mud on your face. Yeah, you know, these are really good for face. <laughs> That's what I thought. Like yesterday when I was taking off her blanket, I'm like, yeah, you're gonna be in the mud. That's for sure. Oh my goodness. You're these gonna are be in the mud so good for legs because you can contour around her legs, and I love that. And it gets blood flow moving to her legs. Some horses are dirty, like you, and some aren't. <laughs> So my brother's still on his way. Oh, that's so knotted. Yeah, that's what happens when it's rainy and muddy out. Like caught her. See, she doesn't like being caught. She just likes doing tricks. Is this new that she doesn't like being caught? No, it's always been like oh. that. Oh. She never likes her halter. And when it comes time for tricks, she's like, I'm here. Let's do tricks. Yeah, because she knows she's going to get treats. But she's terrified of spray Anyway, so we have Willow in. And Penny and I've just been cleaning her. The problem is, is that once they're wet, like the mud gets wet. So then instead of being like a nice white and black pony, she's a black and brown pony. For goodness sake. No, she's not a pony. Yeah, she's not a pony. She's my pony though. You're my pony. The reason Gabby bought me green is because when I look in my bag, it's sometimes when my gloves, my black ones get buried in the bottom, it's hard for you to find them because everything's so dark in there. And the green really stands out. The green I see really gets dirty. Brush him up. Look at, even he's got dirt on his face. Not honey, she's pretty clean. She's pretty clean. Okay, we gotta teach Sophie how to do up this halter. No, I'm gonna show you how to do it properly. Every time I see it when I'm editing, I'm like, what the heck? What the heck, Sophie? The only time you don't want people to come to your barn is when it's raining. When it's raining, because... And when your father floods the arena. And when your father floods the arena. But look at how good this little foal is. Here, you do it while I film. Yeah, I brush her feet. I brush her feet so that she knows that, like, so she gets used to that. But you know what else? My friend was telling me that some people actually, like, poke their horses with a toothpick. Just gently, but little tiny pokes as a normal like it doesn't sound good but 
just like as a normal training thing, like just little tiny pokes like this, so that it makes them better for vets, like for their immunization and stuff. I think we should do that with honey. Gentle, or even your finger. You could even do it with your finger. But a toothpick would be like a little more pokey, but not like, not penetrate the skin or anything like that. Just tap them. Like you could do it to yourself even with a toothpick. I've done it. Like it doesn't hurt as long as you're not like jabbing them and poking through the skin. But I think that's such an important or thing. Like I always said with our dogs, when we did work for like our Humane Society and stuff, like with training, I always said like, when you get a puppy, you have to train them to do all the things you want them to be able to do as an adult, as a baby, as a puppy. So it's like the same with horses. Like that's such a valuable thing. Like to, to even think about doing all the things now that you're gonna need them to be good for later. Like I love that idea. Where'd you get it? Walmart. Is it a winter shovel or a barn shovel? I think it's for the barn. Well, you can tell it's made in Canada even though it says it because air at Maple Leaf. Yeah, that's right. Oh, I like it. I love when you come down to the barn and you just find things in the barn. Guys, it's raining. I got to use my cooler on her. It looks tight, but it's not. She, she's really excited. She looks cute and navy. Videoing doing this for a friend. I just took pictures of it for her to show her. I don't know. You guys tell me, is this a lead line saddle? It's Willow's saddle. We don't put anybody on her, but if I ever had like a tiny, tiny little kid to like lead them around, I would use it. We have a strap that goes with it. But it's this tiny, tiny little, whoa, tiny, tiny little saddle. And then underneath, you can remove this and make it like as wide or as narrow as you need it to be. I don't know if you guys, if we showed that to you. I'm pretty sure we must have showed that to you guys. She's got her little cooler on. She's like, oh, hello. <laughs> My brother has this thing about messing up horses' hair. I don't know why he does that. You just mess up her hair. She's like, I don't want to go that far. You're too far. I can get pets from him. <laughs> no, that is not how you fix it. And she'll even run up on that thing. Yep. Oh, really? Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, now run. Run as fast as you can. <laughs> She's so sweet. <laughs> She's just lazy. Isn't she so cute? I'm gonna show my nephew how to play ball with Penny. I got a new ball for her. And if she doesn't move towards it, yeah, there you go. Yeah. Wait till she's watching and gently kick it to her. Go ahead, she's watching. Oh, wait, she thinks you're done. All right. Go ahead. There you go, Penny. Kick it back to him. Hit it back to him. Wait till. Oh. There you go. Push it back to him, Penny. Yeah. Isn't that cool? Okay. So she's going to come and get it. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> right. She's right after it. There you go. Like that is literally the funnest thing. It is so cute. Like you don't think that a horse will play. Oh, she's mad. <laughs> Wait, she's gonna get it. Maybe. You gotta kick it. That's a girl. <laughs> she's like, now you walk and get it. So my niece is gonna try and get Willow to jump. Let's see if she can do it. Nope, <laughs> she just did it a minute ago. She's just realizing. There we go. Woo! Wake me up, I'm getting tired of sleep. Think I had enough. I've been gone, but I haven't done. The fist bump. It's pretty clear to me. Kind of strange, I can take a beat. 
from my better self is like no one else even really scratches the surface cause nobody gets nobody gets nobody gets me i'm looking for faith looking for love in every direction i'm looking for someone to show me the way when my map is torn up give me a light when my torch is blown I know I need new syrups wait do you want me to put them up a bit because when your brother wrote her I don't know if I can go oh, I'm yeah, gonna try and put them up so this is my niece Emma and she's actually 14 so Sophie's 13 she's 14 and Gabby's 15 so she's gonna ride Penny inside because it's raining and so we're gonna weave barrels because we thought it would be fun right and I'm gonna walk her for the first few minutes to remind her she hasn't ridden her in a year All right, so this is Emma and she is riding Miss Penny in a few minutes I'm gonna give her the reins but we're just gonna go for a refresher course first, right, Penn? Emma rode with Penny last year, and yeah, maybe we'll get Chino out here. Why don't we can I just get away for a better chance at a great moment, and I'm just not getting any braver. Cause nobody gets, nobody gets, nobody gets. Me. Looking for faith, looking for love in every direction. I'm looking for someone to show me the way when my map is torn up. Give me a light when my torch is blown out. Do you like her? She's actually really comfortable to ride. Good job, Emma. So I didn't even tell Emma how to stop her by pulling back on the reins. I told her about how, like, look where you want to go and, and use your body and... Because <laughs> remember, you're steering. Well, we, I was running to save you, though. When I drive, like, I drove car, dirt bike, four-wheelers, never something, like, <laughs> alive. Not ever something that has a brain? Nope. All right, so I got Levi on, on Penny, and he's a little nervous, but she's doing good. I'm lead lighting him. And Gracie, Sophie's got a, Gracie's got a little girl on her. Like, that is honestly the cutest little thing. <laughs> All right, so honestly, Penny was a dream girl. She was so good. My niece Emma wrote her and was like in love with it. And she literally, I don't think she even wants to stop. Like she wants to ride her more. But there's a, a bunch of kids here, which is really fun for me. Like I love letting people, like little kids. I love letting kids play with the horses. I think that's so important. Like that's how kids get used to horses. Gabby's taking off my saddle, getting all fancy. Sometimes when a bunch of people show up. No. No. She'll let me hang up my stuff here. You can put this away then. So sometimes when people show up and we end up like entertaining, and the vlog kind of gets on the back burner, which is kind of what happened to you guys today. So hopefully I can make a video about what we did. We just spent, we had one, two, three, six kids here, starting from like age six to 14 and we just let them play with the horses we just let them play and then they all rode and they all rode for a long time we brought daisy down because the mom of the little kids was like oh, i love dalmatians and now i just need a hundred dalmatians more and daisy loved them was cuddled up on the couch with them i wanted to video it or take a picture but the mom didn't want to be on camera so i couldn't but she was just in love with all the people I just need a hundred more Dalmatians. So I can yeah, our Dalmatian is super loving and super sweet. Like she's very um, affectionate, super, super affectionate. Five. Five. 
Not no. much. I know you're cold. Yeah, she's cold. Anyway, hopefully there's a vlog in all the footage that I took. But anyways, if not, we'll see you guys tomorrow on a regular day. Don't you know that you're beautiful?